Hello, hello everybody. So let me put again the full screen here. Hello, how are you guys? I hope you are enjoying your winter. <laughs> I mean, and um, the so I, I, I reached out to the Ancient Egypt uh, podcast in YouTube and uh, I don't remember the name, Dominic, <laughs> sorry, and um, because I didn't, I didn't see the ramp of the last, of the previous pyramid, the, the, um, the, the you know, the, the, the this, this <laughs> pyramid, the, and, um, sorry, I, I lost the name, <laughs> for, 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 second cat pyramid, sorry, yeah. Um, here is the picture. These are the ramps. This is the ramp that uh, you see. This one to the left is the wall of the pyramid, and uh, and here you see the the ramp is in the inclination. Of. Now, the ramp was used uh, was done with um, mud and r like uh, leftover stones. So one on top of each other, and was just doing the ramp and going up. So it's not a steep ramp, actually it's very gentle, uh, I don't actually know the inclination, it's like probably less than 10%, so it totally fits with the construction hypothesis of, uh, of a ramp. Now, this, doesn't, this is not enough to say that later pyramids like Khufu uh, or even the Snofru pyramids uh, were made uh, just using ramps uh, but at least we know that they use ramps so this is crazy good information uh, wow so yeah <laughs> this is one of the most important pictures uh, of the whole one year of Egypt of uh, Egyptian feeling so uh, if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe because this will be very nice from you <laughs> And uh, if you like the video, don't forget to like the video because it helps the algorithm, whatever that means. So, Kaba. Who was Kaba? Kaba uh, was the son of Sekemket, and we don't know much. Uh, but actually, we, we know almost nothing about this pharaoh. And uh, he most probably reigned uh, over six years. Uh, but again, we don't know much. And he started to build... Uh, pyramid in Zawiat El Aryan, which I'm gonna show you very soon what it is. And this pyramid is called the Layer Pyramid, and I'm gonna tell you very soon why. <laughs> so this is a recap of the places uh, of the necropolis uh, that are present around the area of Cairo today. Okay, so when everybody goes to Egypt, like, ah, I wanna see the pyramid, they all go to Giza. Cool, great, very good, but. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven necropolis. It's not just the Giza necropolis. Obviously, the Giza necropolis is the one that is, you know, more compelling. It's the closest to Cairo. It's, you know, it's famous. But you have seven. Uh, <laughs> you have seven necropolises. So uh, what we will do today? So basically, the we we did all, in all this year of Egypt, oh, of Egyptian feeling, we did uh, Abydos and Saqqara, basically. And now we will do Zawiat El Arian today and the next week with, the unfini with another unfinished pyramid. And uh, so Zawiat El, Zawiat El Arian is a place uh, that basically I found out that archaeologists, archaeologists find out that the necropolis was used from Dynasty Zero to like even Dynasty Four. So it's like there should be a lot of stuff here but now it all belongs to a military compound it's a, it's an area 51 of egypt basically and it's crazy because you have look this is the the layer pyramid that we will talk today and this wall is the wall of the military of egypt i mean jesus christ and there, there is supposedly there, there should be a mastaba around this area, the mastaba called Z Z five hundred, and it's inside of a short area. <laughs> like Jesus, I'm like please. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, so just so you know, but the next week we will do the unfinished pyramid, and I'm gonna show you how how are 
they're using the, the, the unfinished pyramid is actually inside of the compound because this one here, as you can see, is outside of the compound is, uh, but the other one is actually inside and I'm gonna tell you about that uh, next week uh, it's very crazy uh, so what so you can see this is what what's left of the layer pyramid and uh, basically you have a mound of rubble and sort of mud uh, kind of mud bricks which makes some people believe that this was uh, supposed to be covered with mud bricks but it doesn't make much sense the whole pyramid was built in in limestone so like the others uh, of the third dynasty now you can see here there is one um, you know, hole, and that's where the burial chamber is down. Then here, there you have another hole, which uh, is supposed to be, oh no, sorry, it's here. This is the vertical shaft. And then you have another hole here, which is actually the entrance. So uh, I have a few questions already uh, for you, for me, for everybody uh, about this, because uh, this is very unusual to have an entrance on the east, and especially outside of the pyramid. This is very unusual. So, but let's see. So, so who visited this pyramid? Who explored it? And uh, how? So, the first who visited the pyramid that we know of is John Shaw Pering uh, in 1839. Then Lepsius, then Maspero, then De Morgan. But they actually, they are, they, the guy that actually started to explore the pyramid, that went inside and cleared the entrance, uh, was Alessandro Barzanti, which is the same guy, the Italian guy that excavated the um, Hotep Sekemwi tomb, the space station tomb. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, just uh, you can search for it, space station tomb, and you find uh, in there. Uh, we did it like a couple of months ago. And then, but the real cool uh, information we got for of this pyramid is from Reisner and Fisher uh, from the United States in 1910. No enclosure wall. Uh, there was no enclosure wall, at least as far as we know. And uh, so this what is what makes us think that um, um, the pyramid was never finished. There was this east entrance, which you know it makes sense in a way because uh, you find in the pre sorry in the pre in the early dynastic tombs in Abydos, the entrances were kind of at the east as well. Uh, but uh, for a pyramid of the old kingdom, this is very unusual. So it's really not the you know very unusual. And uh, perhaps there was a valley temple and. Uh, but I haven't found anything. So, but but there perhaps like there is something, but I haven't personally found any like archaeological uh, documents and stuff. Um, so this is the uh, I don't know what that is actually. <laughs> it's like a dish or whatever <laughs> that was found in the Mastaba Z500, the one that I told you before. So the Mastaba Z500 is at the north of the pyramid supposed to be at the north of the pyramid and uh, and uh, they found this disc with the name of Kaaba here this is the you know the oh, oh my god today I'm, <laughs> I'm forgetting the words um, the cartouche yeah and so um, this is how they were able to date the pyramid now how like why would you date a pyramid based on an artifact found in a mastaba 200 meters away like how well the, in this case this is one of the cases where architecture is more powerful than actual fund foundings because the the architecture of the pyramid tells us a lot uh, about the belonging of the of the pyramid to a certain period so this is the um, topographical map from an aerial photo that was shot like in 1977 and you can see here this is the pyramid with the burials uh, underground this is the Mastaba Z500 and around here there will be the unfinished pyramid of uh, the, you know the, the the famous unfinished pyramid of uh, Zawiat el Arian. Um, yeah, so I think this is, you, you, so you can see the north is not, is not the pyramid is not north oriented and um, and the Mastaba is quite far away. So um, some people believe that the Mastaba was used to be like 
it was never intended to be a mastaba, it was intended to be a temple, but also doesn't make sense because this is actually a mastaba, so anyway. Potentially a quarry was at this site, uh, at this on the east of the on the west of the pyramid. Um, so let's see. This is the aerial picture taken back in the times. I don't know which times, <laughs> but back in the times. And you can see here this is uh, the leftover of the pyramid, and this will be like the mastaba down the sand. And so this area was all, you know, like the shore today was like this sand, and then. <laughs> military compound <laughs> area 51 came over so um, this is the pyramid how it was found by the Boston guys Reisner and Fisher and this is the pyramid once it was uh, cleared from the sand and they, they, they you know from here they, you can al already see this is kind of a old kingdom pyramid because you have first of all it's made with limestone Second is made with uh, similar dimensions of Djoser's pyramid of second cat, and then uh, it's, it was made with layers, which I'm gonna show you very soon. This is the entrance, uh, so you will do, you will go down here, and then you will go or oh, more or less here, and then you will you know uh, I will show you the plan soon. Um, so this is what's left of the uh, uh, like the thing is here you have a hole but I believe this is because some you know some people believe that there was a treasure somewhere there so they just excavated there but I don't think this is a an original uh, leftover I think probably somebody just excavated here or f looking for treasures and this is the vertical shaft okay which I'm gonna show you very soon on the plan and in any section so here this is why we uh, call this pyramid the layer pyramid is because as you can see here this is like an onion you know when you cut an onion you see all the um, layers right and this is like an onion cut and you can see here one two three four five six you have like 15 layers and uh, so basically it was done like, first of all they would excavate the substructure and at the same time that they were excavating, they were starting to build the small pyramid and then large, 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 large. As far as we know. <laughs> so, yeah, the layer pyramid. So this is how it looks today, uh, thanks to the Isida project. Uh, actually, uh, well, okay. anyway, no, I'm not going to tell this. So this is the um, how it looks today. Um, the, probably in, sorry today no maybe in 2010 uh, but you can see here this is the wall of the military compound uh, it still feels like in the middle of nowhere but <laughs> you have the, the, the shots uh, all around and uh, from the report from Isida project they say that you can hear the gunshots uh, around the area so it's like not cool um, yes so and uh, you can see ah, actually here so this is the hole so pr probably this is the north side of the pyramid okay we are what we are looking at the north side of the pyramid these are the blocks that are inclined so you can see uh, quite clearly uh, they were quite rough uh, so this will nev was never intended to be a finished layer um, this was just the core of the pyramid and you can see they use mortar between the rocks, the, between the stones. So um, this is also one way of dating uh, pyramids. They don't date them with carbon dating, obviously not on, on the stone, but they, they carbon date the mortar. And that's why they are able to date pyramids uh, to a certain period. This is the vertical shaft probably. And uh, I'm going to show you what does that mean very soon so okay so this is this section and uh, as you can see the substructure is very strange it's not this is not is really something new for for ancient Egypt we never saw a substructure that was um, so like the thing is so let, 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 let's say like this, so there, we, there is a vertical shaft and the vertical shaft is outside of the pyramid which to, my, like, to me doesn't make much sense, uh, it's either inside of the pyramid 
um, because why 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 would you do it outside well you can just go down and take the treasure you know so um, and uh, and then once you are down here you could access all the storage rooms which I'm gonna show you very soon and these are the layers that I was talking uh, about one two three four five like 15 of them and the whole pyramid is sitting on a uneven uh, level surface you know so it's not like uh, they didn't level it up and build they just built on top of what uh, of what was the bedrock there um yeah so and the burial chamber is very small so it's like about three meters by three something like that so it's really really not um ambitious as a as a uh, as a pyramid, also because the, the, the whole height of the pyramid would be about 45 meters, something like that, and would be five steps. Whether his father made, uh, he didn't he didn't make it, but he planned to make a period of seven steps and was like 80 meters tall, so it would have been 80 meters tall. So, not an ambitious uh, pyramid for, for Kaaba, and, uh, but a very strange one, because uh, as you can see, the entrance was to the east, here. Then you will go down in a passageway, then here, where, where the entrance meets the axis of the pyramid, there was a vertical shaft. Now again, I don't get these vertical shafts, I never really got them. I never really understood why they were doing vertical shafts actually so if cool if you guys if you guys can help me understanding why that would be great now they they were making here um so so once once you achieve once, once you so you go down to the entrance you you and then you could either go to the burial chamber down here or to the 32 magazines uh, they call them magazines storage rooms okay uh one difference is that there are um from from this pyramid and the and, and father is that the, the here there are like 32 and where the father is like like more than 100 and they the father had both sides whether here you have just in one side you know, which is towards the pyramid and uh, the pyramid was about 83 meters uh, squares um, so 83, 83 meter uh, the side of a square right <laughs> And yeah, that's about it. So we don't know <laughs> anything about this pyramid. We don't know much. Uh, it's one of those. Uh, it's one of those mysteries, you know. Uh, I mean, mysteries. I keep on saying mysteries. That you know, the information that I gave you is information that comes from the archaeological reports. So, but is that enough? Like I ask you, is that enough for you? Like. Uh, for me it's okay like i i accept uh, the information that are given by the archaeologists i don't i don't dispute them they definitely studied more than than me <laughs> i studied one week for this pyramid they probably study years but there is a lot of speculation and this has to be said uh, in archaeology so but it's speculation based on on facts so uh the next week is going to be crazy so the next week, so that basically, I'm gonna tell you already, um, but it's really good. Actually, I'm not sure if next week I can make it, uh, but let's see. So, next week we will do an unfinished pyramid, which is just about a kilometer or less uh, north of, of, of the pyramid of Kaaba. And uh, this, we don't know if it was a pyramid. Uh, we don't know why they did whatever they did. And... Uh, <laughs> And it's, so cr it's super crazy. Uh, they basically excavated a lot down, like 30 meters down, like Joseph Pyramid, you know, uh, like a big hole, a big pit in the ground, and and they used granite stones for the floor, for the floor that are 2.5 meters thick, for the floor. Granite. <laughs> And then they put a sarcophagus in the middle, which uh, it was, it's something that we never saw before like that. It's a sarcophagus that is oval shaped. It's like, and it's not a sarcophagus on top of the floor, but it's a sarcophagus inside of the floor. 
it's 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 crazy and uh next week is gonna be crazy i'm gonna sh but anyway so i hope you enjoy i hope you like the video and if you like don't forget to like if you like to subscribe please do because it helps me quite a few quite a lot and uh, yeah uh, i think this is everything and i see you guys soon bye bye